Hey everyone, welcome to Lightroom in a Snap. In this episode, I'll be showing how you can use the Alt key on Windows or the Option key on Mac to alter masks in Lightroom. Before I get to this week's tutorial though, I want to take a quick moment to thank the viewers that have recently supported me through YouTube Super Thanks or by making contributions via PayPal. I truly appreciate it and it helps ensure I can continue to bring you valuable content going forward. Now let's get to today's tips and tricks. The steps I'll be showing in this episode are available in both desktop versions of Lightroom, the cloud-based Lightroom app and Lightroom Classic. As always, if you're not familiar with the differences between the two apps, I've included a link in the description to my blog post where I cover all the pros and cons of each version and provide some recommendations to help you decide which is the best for you. If you find this content helpful, please be sure to give the video a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel to make sure you don't miss new videos as they're released. I also want to thank Jim Robertson for sharing today's tricks in the comments on my last episode. I wasn't aware of these before then. Let's start with creating a radial mask here in Lightroom. We'll just make a simple oval like so. We already know we can adjust the shape by clicking and dragging on any one of the grab points on the edges of the radial, and as we saw last week, we can resize the mask by holding shift before clicking and dragging on one of those points. Using either of these methods does not change where the midpoint of the radial is located in this case, on the bird. But if I hold down the Alt key or the Option key on Mac before clicking and dragging, I can also adjust only one side of the mask. Note how the opposite side does not move. By using this trick, you can adjust the shape and the midpoint of the radial will also shift towards the direction you drag. Whereas before the midpoint stayed on the bird, it's now shifted upward since I held down the Alt or Option key while dragging. One important note, be sure to release the mouse button before you let go of the Alt or Option key, otherwise this method won't work as expected. A similar trick works with linear gradient masks as well. If I create this new mask, I can then adjust its size by clicking and dragging on either of the outer guidelines. By doing so, the size of the mask increases and the center point of the mask shifts accordingly. Instead, if I hold down the Alt or Option key and then click and drag, I can adjust the overall size of the linear gradient mask without changing its midpoint. You can see that both outer guidelines are moving in and out, but the center location of the mask isn't changing. I can see myself using this trick on the linear gradient more often than on radial masks, but they're both good to keep in mind when working with these tools going forward. And that's Lightroom in a snap. 